Well, we got snow on the dock, which is from a very recent snowfall that we had. There's a little bit of ice on the lake. You can kind of see it right there. So it should be an interesting day. For the first hour and 15 minutes of my day, I decided to cruise around the lake and look for the best bait. Some of the bait was spread out or down in the water column, but what I was looking for was bait that was elevated and was in such great quantities that it would black out my entire screen. If I could find bait like this, I knew the muskies would not be far behind. So I'll show you guys how I rigged the dead bait. This shot is a little messed up, but it won't matter because I think the fish smell it. I don't know that they really go by vision. This water clarity is about a foot, not even. <clears throat> so I like to put the treble, uh, one of the trebles through the one side of it, and then I come in with the other treble through the other side. And that way it's nice and balanced. And it was at this moment that I realized there was a muskie directly under my boat on the starboard side. But was this just a cruiser? Or was it a fish that was stalking the dead shad on the other end of my line? Here's a musky right here. You ready, guys? There's one! So I was only fishing with one full treble and then another treble that had a broken hook on it. <clears throat> and I was okay with that because the less hooks the less damage you're going to do for the fish. So we'll put that over here for now. He's trying to jump out. Wow, really thick fish. I love these winter fish. They're, they're super thick. This one probably just about 40, maybe a little more, but so thick. You know, with dead baiting, you think, you know, well, it's really just, you know, letting the bait hang down there, right? It, it really isn't. <laughs> um, you know, I've had people tell me before, like, oh, that's just easy. You know, my five-year-old daughter could do that. Um, you know, it really is about the positioning of the boat in relation to the bait. Uh, in addition to that, it's also about, you know, how far down it is in the water column based on where the bait is. You want to keep the boat moving ideally with a nice natural drift as opposed to having your trolling motor on which can cause a lot of noise and vibration in the water so uh, just trying to keep it <clears throat> as subtle as possible and really strategic around the bait and that's going to allow you to put odds in your favor especially when the water's really cold like this um, you know we had we have water temps that are in the upper 30s there was ice on certain parts of the lake when we got here so um, definitely want to make sure that uh, you're putting odds in your favor we're casting we're dragging bait, 
we'll see what else we can get here. So that was a really nice fish. One of the really fun aspects of dragging shad is playing around with different baits to see which ones can bring the muskies in. Because sometimes fish will follow baits in like gliders or the outbreak that I was just throwing. And instead of hitting your bait, they'll go for the shad instead. So it's cool to, to use different baits to see what you can get the muskies to convert on. Oh look, I caught a fish with a banana in the boat. Fish and it's not a big one. I I think I hooked them broadside and it felt big. <laughs> oh man. So it's pretty cool, sort of. catfish. I don't know what that is. You catfish experts can tell me. We'll put them back. Muskies like these things. We'll eat them. So <clears throat> the fish are not going on straight retrieve. I tried jigging for about an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, nothing with the jigging. So the only other retrieve I can think of other than the pull paws of rubber, which I also tried, is a glide bait. So I'm gonna to try to work this glide bait throughout different areas of the water column and, and really work on accentuating the paws. So that's what I'm gonna to try to do. Obviously doing it with the 3D printed glider because it's, it's going to sink faster than a lot of other glide baits because of the weight of it. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of work it around and above the bait balls. So little known fact, not all SG angling episodes end in a multi-fish day. Although technically it was a multi-fish day because we caught a catfish. We got catfished on the second fish. Uh, he told me he was a muskie the entire way until he revealed himself to me and it was not a muskie. So that's a first though, so that's exciting. But uh, not too bad of a day considering when I got here there was some ice on the lake um, you know you have to put odds in your favor I think that's the name of the game uh, at least for today's episode uh, that's the key takeaway but uh, I certainly appreciate all of you tuning in and watching this very first reservoir winter episode um, on SG angling uh, thanks again guys if you wouldn't mind please do like subscribe comment let me know your thoughts I'll see you on the next video peace